Hey, this is Noogie from GuardianTalesGuides.com and we're going to go over weapons because people are asking me to make a video about weapons. Um, so let's get into it. Alright, so the main premise is it's broken down into leads versus followers, right? If you have a character that leads a raid group, and we're going to pre predominantly talk about raids because I'm utterly incompetent and in all other things. So let's just stick with that. Um, so if you're leading a raid group, you're going to want certain stats, or at least one stat more than you're going to do when you lead, or when you're not leading. Um, in addition, it doesn't necessarily have to be leading a raid group. It could be leading anything, or it could be doing co-op, because you want that stat. And the primary stat I'm talking about here is weapon skill regen. It makes everything go smoothly, right? It's the most important stat for a lead to have. It's more important than every other stat by far, and I'll tell you why. So let's say you're doing fairy, right? An array. Fairy or worm or whatever. There are parts in the fight where fairy will become invulnerable, or ghast will start bolting out boulders, ice boulders, or worm will go into the ground and do this nasty spin attack. You need to stun them before they do these. Every, there's like half the bosses have one crazy ultimate badass attack that you need to nullify and stun them before they get it off. That's the whole point of the fight. If you do that, damage is optimal, right? So that therefore, to do that in most situations, you're going to need high weapon skill regen. And like, let's say you you max your damage, but your weapon skill regen is really low. And then the worm burrows before you could possibly get that, that stun off. Worm burrowing or fairy going to the side or gas throwing those boulders and really becoming making your fight harder means that you will do less damage. You will have to move or whatever it is. And mo more importantly, you will have to change your strategy from the optimal strategy that all the rest of the raiders are doing. Weapon skill regen will make you change your strategy if it's too low. If you have less than max damage on your weapon, you will not need to change your strategy. So you want strategy over raw damage. Not saying that raw damage isn't important, it's just not necessary. It's a luxury. So weapon skill regen, big, 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 most importante. So that being said, right, so we look at Claude's weapon skill regen, yay, it's super high. And we look at Agma. Not so high, but I think actually that's the cap for Agma's weapon. But the thing is, I use Agma in other fights as the lead and Claude as a follower. So a lot of times, even if they're following in one fight, they may be leading in another. So you got to kind of keep their weapon skill regen a little high. Um, Nari, I have not done anything. Oh, I'll bad. I've not done anything on this weapon. It actually has 10. I think it goes a lot higher than that, but I don't care because he's never going to lead with that weapon, like, ever. Um, there's a handful of characters like that, right? Like, uh, Eleanor. I will never lead with Eleanor. I I'll, I'll, won't lead with Kana, either. Don't care. You know, so if they have weapon skill regen that's really high, it's just lucky random rolls because I certainly didn't care to roll it. Let's see, let's see where we're at. Yeah, like, Barely, no weapon skill regen. <laughs> All right. I actually don't know if they come equipped with it, but it doesn't really matter. Um, if you're playing co-op and stuff like that, I love weapon skill regen and co-op. So, yeah, I mean, you just need to understand the forms or game modes of content you're going to be working on, uh, whether or not you're going to do that. Now, there's three main stats you want as a raider. An order of priority, weapon skill regen, Raw damage, like your weapon damage, and then finally skill damage, right? Just that, just that order. One, two, three. Get your weapon skill regen really high, max your damage, and then hopefully get skill damage high. And honestly, what I tend to do is I'll I'll lock the damage on a weapon, and then after that I'll roll for weapon skill regen, and then hopefully I'll get uh, skill damage in there in a decent range as well. But I typically only lock a weapon once, yeah, maybe twice if I really, really care. But um, you notice I haven't mentioned anything about HP and defense because I don't care about those on a raid. Don't care. They're useless stats. Only cer certain fights like Augma right now on Panda gets beat up. 
So, you know, at that point, maybe defensive stuff would help out on Agua, and it does. It keeps him alive. But usually not those stats. Don't care about it. So in addition to all that, we're going to go into items, right? So there's four types of items that switch, uh, meaning like uh, Nari, Tania, Cam, and Ray are your currently your off-element hitters, right? Because those characters are all so good in their own right that you want to use them on multiple teams, especially Nari. Nari's such a badass. So, but Ray is going to use one hit of weapons, and right now, this one uses that on the dark team. Um, yeah, I mean, so far that's that's what Ray does, right? We haven't seen him in or her in many other teams, but I wouldn't I wouldn't call it crazy for her to use any of these. Um, bows, right? So um, Tinia still goes on light team, so she will be using this bow on light. Uh, we don't, we're not all rich and have a second Gab bow. Um, she also uses, hell, she uses this on my team right now in Expedition. Um, but yeah, she doesn't really go into water that much anymore, but these were two were really good with that. Um, basket. Okay, so Nari, this one's by far the best dark basket. So much better than, um, Noxia's. Not only on raw damage, just on everything. Uh, this is her light basket. It's super good. If you have this, it's better. But this one's pretty damn good for kind of a cheap expense. And you can even go this one if you really need to. The damage is the same. Um, yeah. And, you know, like, she can also use this on the fire team, which isn't crazy. So... Staffs are the last one because Cam uses staffs. Uh, Coco switches to a lot of different teams too. Um, so Cam will use this staff when he's on dark, which is what I use him for in Expedition. Um, Lucy will actually use this when she's on water. Um, light gets, or the, this gets used on Coco when she's on light and the very off chance she is. Um, and this gets used um, does this get to, yeah, by, uh, who the hell, uh, Lucy, when she goes to do basic stuff, which is more of a rarity these days, but still kind of useful, and those are your off-element weapons, I mean, that's pretty much, we ran through it all, um, weapon skill regen, max damage, skill damage, and then just save your one-handed swords, bows, baskets, and staves, those are the go-tos. And I mean, any other weapon type can be one of those, any of them, right? So if you get, if we have a new hero that's just amazing, you know, the hero just um, has a defense down, heals people, buffs attack, kind of like Ray or something like that, and we want to put them on every team, whatever weapon type that person has, that type of weapon now becomes an offhanded weapon that we're going to want to use. So I personally prepare for it by just having all of them always available, and I don't really sell that much stuff. But uh, but either way, I plan for long term because I have the resources to pull it off. So other than that, I hope it helps. Um, have a good week, and uh, enjoy Conquest. It's going to come out in a few. Adios. <laughs>